with the increasing population there is an increase in demand for these fruits and vegetables now vegetative propagation is the propagation through which new plants can be formed in abundant number and in lesser time now instead of buying seeds from the market if you want new rose plants what you can do is you can cut a piece of the rose stem and sow it on the soil and eventually within a few days an entire rose plant will be formed so the scientists became curious as to how small a piece of stem is required for a new plant to develop the answer is the stem has to have at least one bud from which a new plant will develop now the scientists became even more ambitious they wanted to grow a new plant from a single cell so that millions of plants can be formed from a single plant and guess what they were successful now how do plants develop well farmers sow seed on the soil now the seeds take up water and minerals and grow into a new plant now how does the seed know in what plant they have to grow into or what should be the structure of the plant well this is possible by the presence of a chemical present inside the seed that determines the structure of the plant also some of you must have noticed farmers spray sterilizers on the field this they do to prevent the growth of unwanted plants such as fungi so scientists wanted to replicate the entire procedure in their laboratories so let us see so one such scientist first collected a few leaves so that he could obtain plant tissues from it next what does the seed require the seed requires water and minerals from the soil so the scientist created an artificial field for the plant tissues in the form of this petri dish so this petri dish became the field and then the scientist poured a solution that had water and mineral in it now the plant tissues were planted on this layer of food containing solution within a few days these plant tissues formed a mass of cell known as the callus so how does the seed know in what plant or in what structure to develop well there are special chemicals known as hormones present in the seed that determines the plant shape see these are different shapes of the plant so scientists artificially produced hormones and poured them on the callus and that determined the shape of the plant next the farmers spray or spread sterilizers to prevent the growth of unwanted plant such as uh, weeds so scientists also added sterilizer to these new seedlings 
this addition of sterilizer prevented the growth of unwanted plants on the petri dish now after 3 or 4 weeks when the seedlings grew a little more on the petri dish they were transferred and they were planted on soil so this process by which propagation of plants are done by tissue or cell culture is known as micropropagation micropropagation has been successfully done and these are the proofs we have abundant amount of these beautiful flowers and these juicy vegetables and these are all the successful result of micropropagation but there is a disadvantage of this process as well micropropagation is a very expensive process so farmers in the rural areas cannot afford this high cost of this entire procedure so micropropagation is only limited to the city areas where the people can afford the high cost of this entire process